Alright guys, um, today I am going to show you how to make a Magic Eye poster in Microsoft Paint. Now, I know, I realize that, hey, wait a minute, we're not in Windows. Well, that's because we have to do a program called Parallels. Um, so yeah, I go ahead and just open up Paint, and it will just open up. How about that? The reason that works is because the way that, uh, it's, uh, it's made, it's in this mode called Coherence. Uh, basically, I can run my Windows apps and my Mac apps side by side, pretty new people. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start off here with a, with a, with a uh, spray paint. They call it airbrush for some reason, but it's, it's spray paint. Basically, um, we want to go max size for the spray paint. We're just going to go ahead and actually start with a background color here. Do our brush, and we're just going to start painting some random colors here. And this will usually take a few moments. Yes, I do have a little bit of choppy frame rate. I'm recording my entire desktop right now, so yeah, it's going to be a little slow. Also, I don't normally make them this big, but I figured I might as well try it out this big. It's actually going to get a lot slower once we start adding more colors in, more colors in, because the way that Microsoft Paint is built, it's not meant to handle a whole bunch of different pixels of different colors like this. So, uh, first color, we're just going to make it really, really filled in. And then with each one, we're going to go a little bit lower, a little bit lower, just so we have a nice, even blend without having to go back into other colors. Uh, orange. background is pretty much close enough I can go with the purple as well in here. Let's throw a little bit of pink in, just for contrast. Alright, so now that we have that little pattern here, um, right, you can do this in Photoshop too, and with Photoshop you get some extra little features and stuff, which is nice, but not what we're going for right now. Okay, so... The rest of this background we're not even going to worry about, so we're just going to delete, and we're actually going to delete this into part of this pattern here. A little bit left there. Okay. And a little bit left here. That looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go here, we're going to go to Transparent Selection. Since white is our background, white is going to be our Transparent Selection. And what we're going to do is... Control A. Control C. Control V. And we're just going to sort of make a pattern here. Now, yes, uh, it can take a little bit because... Microsoft Paint doesn't really work too well with actually doing this on a speed process. So we're only going to be doing this twice here. Now, to make this a little faster here, we're not going to worry about actually hitting paste again. Uh, we're going to zoom in here so that we can actually see. 
Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, Windows is installing updates now on top of it. So, yeah, expect a little bit of lag. Okay. Now to make this a little bit faster here, let's see how they meet up right there. We're going to hold control and hold the uh, right arrow once. And I just switched desktops. I totally forgot about that. One second here. Okay, so that's not going to work. However, this will. Okay. And normally in Windows, what you can do is just hold Control and then hit the right, hit the right or left key. It'll just make a copy from where it's at. We're actually going to go a little bit separated with this one. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a meme. Uh, let's see here. So I think what we're going to do... Actually, we've got plenty of space to work with here. Actually, this is probably going to be a lot smaller too anyway. So let's go ahead and... Shrink down the space. I think it's going to be a little too big for what we're going to do here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the freeform and have the ability to do the control right. Let me see here. I believe I can disable this in my system preferences. One second here. Alright, I am back. I figured out how to get it all working again. So yeah. Let's go ahead and draw that S. Doesn't have to be perfect. Go. Hold control and let's go ahead and do it to the uh, eh, yeah, it's to the right. So we're gonna go press it, hold control, press right once, and let go of control and then let's just move it to more over. And we're gonna do the same thing down here. And I think one thing we're gonna do here. Just kind of draw some lines here so we have a guide. There we go. I'm pretty sure some of you are already going to know what this is going to say. We're going to do the same thing here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here. Let go. Hold control. Press right. And we're going to drag this over. Do the rest of our letters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you already know what it's going to be. a little bit of a tedious process, but you know what? It's worth it. All right. Next letter up here is going to be an E. I 
Next letter down here is going to be a U. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for demonstration purposes only. If you want to get all nitpicky and everything about it, that's completely fine. Um, one thing is, uh, you can also take the selection, make a copy of it, and use the... Uh, you know, right here, use the, uh, the skew tool right here. And if you skew it, it'll actually do a pop out instead of, you know, from the bottom instead of just the whole thing coming out. I probably, I'm thinking I probably should have done that below it. It's, it's too late now. Well, maybe not too late, but I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to have to go through that. Okay, let's do another N here. D down here. Now this is going to be a perfect time. Oh yeah, screw my me later. I actually want to minimize that because I have to worry about that later. Not we're going to melt that. Oh, that's not going on. Now to do the center of this, what we're going to do is we're going to deselect, come in the middle of this, and then we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we'll control the left, and then one, two. There we go. Pretty sure you guys get the drift here. Okay, so this is gonna be a D right here. This will be E right here. And the last one is just going to have a letter at the bottom. Now you can see a slight little changes here where you start seeing the uh, the area start to uh, spread out a little bit in the areas that, we're, that we've been continuously working with here. Hopefully that's clear enough for you guys to see there. There we go. That is a crappy looking S. So we're going to redo that. Uh, let's start from down here. That looks a lot better. So yeah, you can see this area where it kind of like repeats, and then it repeats one less, and then one less, and then it kind of, yeah. 
that's uh, that's kind of what we're looking for here. Uh, grab our paint bucket here. Right I probably should have made this a different color, but luckily I didn't hit any actual pink pixels on the on the edges here, so that's not going to be an issue. Okay, so this area right here. We're going to go ahead and pull this to the edge because this is the this is the end piece. This is the piece that we're going to you know keep copying, keep copying, and we don't want to get this uh, stuck here. Uh, I think you want those updates. There we go. Okay, now this is the fun part. To be honest, this is actually still easier than trying to use the rectangle tool because the rectangle tool is hard. It's hard to grab the edges. With the freeform, uh, you can just pull the mouse past the edges and it'll grab those edges for you. Okay, so now we're just going to merge all this together. Let's just let Facebook notifications. We're just going to keep merging this. Until we get something like that. Alright, we're going to grab this last piece here and we're going to drag it over. Should be the last piece right here. Now, if you're not familiar with how Magic Eye posters work, um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure to leave a link down in the description below on how to do these um, in case my instructions here aren't clear enough. But uh, essentially what you're doing is you're trying to look past the picture. And what will happen is uh, your eyes will focus, um, but your distance perception is going to see it as something, as something far further away. And because of the pixels in the image that are slightly off, it'll create, uh, it'll create a shape image for you. So in this case, we have the uh, message here that says send news. And it's kind of recessed because we did it to the right instead of the left, but that's cool. Um, as long as you can see it, that's the important thing. And yeah, I hope that was a cool tutorial for you. And I hope to see some really awesome photos from you guys. Peace.